Help here. This green glowing rope doesn't seem dangerous at all. I wonder where it goes. Hi, can you tell me? your voice echo, echo, echo like that? Aren't you afraid of my ghostly visage? Can you breathe fire? Um, no. If you learned how to breathe fire, you'd be scarier. All right, that's enough. What do you want, kid? I don't have all eternity to answer your questions. Well, maybe I do, but, but that doesn't mean I will. What are you doing out here on the deck? Well, it's the second Saturday of the month, which means today I have to swab the deck. The problem is I can't find my mop anywhere. Oh yeah, I'm also supposed to scare away anyone that gets near the ship. Something tells me you're not gonna get a raise anytime soon. Thanks, kid. You really know how to kick a ghost when he's down. How can I get into the captain's quarters? Well, I have the key, but the captain is busy right now and doesn't want to be disturbed. Besides, if he finds out that I haven't swabbed the deck yet, he'll probably send my soul into the dark abyss. That doesn't sound like fun at all. You have no idea. What was that? Oh, no! Hey, where are you going? Ah! Ah! It's a mutiny! All hands on deck! Man your stations! I'll head over to the ectoplasmic containment flinger. Now that was a close one. Ahoy, matey! 
I better keep the captain's door locked until I swap the deck. Swab away! This is one of the finest mops I've ever seen! Here, take this key. You can use it to visit the captain, but I'm warning you, he has never taken kindly to strangers, especially ones that are still alive. Would you like to be in a new television show that I'm helping to cast? Television show, huh? Can I play a pirate? Well, okay, but don't get upset if you wind up being typecast for the rest of your life. Or, on life. Or, afterlife. Oh boy, wait till the captain hears about this. I need to finish swabbing the deck, and then I'll be on my way. Locked! I just have to get in and tell the captain how much I like his ship. What comfy looking beds! Excuse me, are you the captain of the ship? Ha ha! You bet your shiny black booties I am! I be the captain of this fine vessel, and it be the scariest ship to ever sail the seven seas! Oh, you're the flying Dutchman! All right, you be, laddie. Now, who might ye be who's foolish enough to step foot into me quarters? I'm SpongeBob SquarePants. Well then, Mr. Squarebottom, do you be having any last words before I turn you into a member of me ghostly crew? Are you really going to make me a member of your crew for all eternity? Uh, I'm afraid it's part of me ghostly contract. No, no, I don't think I'm cut out to be a pirate. Well, I guess I'll just have to send you into the dark abyss. Ah! All right, all right. If you get out of here in the next five seconds, I won't do anything horrible. Shoo! You seem a little angry. Anything wrong? Aye, there is, you sea dog. I'm actually a sea sponge. Silence! A long time ago, I buried my most prized possession right here in the seafloor below us. Now I've come back for me beloved dining sack, but I can't seem to remember where I buried it. What's so special about some old sock anyway? Some old sock? Why I should roast you where you stand. Me dining sock is the only thing that keeps me foot from getting cold when I sit down to eat. I've grown hungry for so long. Sorry if I seem a little sour, laddie, but I've been starving for quite a while. Can't you let an old pirate starve in peace? I need me dining sack if I'm ever to be my ghostly self again. Is this your special dining sock? Shiver me timbers and hoist me sails. It's me dining sock. I can finally eat again. Hooray! In fact, I'm so hungry that I think I'll start with you. What? Ah! Hey, relax, laddie. Just ghost pirate humor. You've returned my dining sack, and for that, I owe you something. I will grant you three wishes, of which you may ask me for anything your heart desires. Wow, three wishes. I know just what I'll ask for. I'm ready to use my three wishes. Well, let's have them then. I haven't got all day. Huh, <sighs> I really wish you wouldn't rush me. Fine, take all the time you need. Two wishes left. No, oh, no. 
I wish I'd learned to keep my big mouth shut. I thought you'd never ask. You got one wish left. Oh, barnacles! I wish that you would take a part on the new Adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy TV show. Arr, the only thing worse than starving is television. So be it. Your wish has been granted. You're all out of wishes, laddie. So if I were you, I'd be... Leaving. Great idea. I wonder what this button does. What have you done this time, you old coot? Mermaid Man! That's it! This time I'm calling the police! Quick, Mermaid Man. We need to get out of here to work out what's going on. This all looks... evil. Evil? Quick, Barnacle Boy, to the Mermela... Shh! Don't give away our secret hideout. Oh, yes. Uh, good point, Barnacle Boy. To the, um, to the secret marmalare! Away! To the invisible boatmobile! Wait, Mermaid Man. I have some powder spray to help us find the invisible boatmobile. No time for that. I sense evil! It's Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Destroyed Shady Shoals and they're trying to escape. All units proceed with necessary speed. I got him. Over. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy have been arrested for the theft of one rest home and are under the suspicion of theft for a number of other buildings around Bikini Bottom. I was nowhere near my utility belt at the time. I was just trying to flush the toilet, I tell ya. You think that's bad? Try actually committing some exceptional crimes, only to get arrested for jaywalking. Mm. <laughs> this whole building theft scheme could never have been cooked up by those two idiots. <laughs> I concur. In fact, it seems like the sneaky hermit is up to his old tricks again. He certainly is a crafty one. I've never heard of sneaky hermit. What does he do? Well, basically, he steals buildings. Well, Man Ray, <laughs> it appears that there has been a clerical error and you're free to go. <laughs> and it appears, Dirty Bubble, that you are too. Come now, there's crime to be had. Oh, uh, evil. E Evil! To the invisible boatmobile! We have to pick up the sneaky hermit's trail at the Shady Shoals. Away! Well, it seems that Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy have been cleared of the building thefts, but the real culprit is still at large. <laughs> 
not content to merely hold a rest home upon my back. I want more. A whole city belongs with me. A whole country. The whole world! Meow. 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 We've come to welcome you to the neighborhood. <laughs> yes, the neighborhood of evil. And if there's anything we can do to help you settle in, <laughs> feel free to... Take this creature and go set up a distraction for the fools who would seek to stop me. That should keep them gone just long enough. <laughs> Meow! Meow! No clues there, mermaid man. Well spotted, Barnacle Boy. Looks like we have to talk to the only man in town who knows everyone in Bikini Bottom inside and out. The X-ray doctor? Yes. D I mean, no. I'm talking about Grubbs the chef. A simple man, perhaps, but sometimes it is only when one who sees life simply that one can perceive its true meaning. Wow, that's really deep, Mermaid Man. Huh? What's deep? Do I know you? Yeah, I've heard of him. What have you heard? I've heard that he's, uh, really sneaky. Well, that's groundbreaking information. I have one more question, Grubs. How's my order of meatloaf coming along? <laughs> And now that Moron Ray and the Dopey Bubble are occupied, it's time to add a bit more evil to my home. This task should impress Ooh, our new neighbor. <laughs> yes, I see many wonderful years of villainy ahead. Stand down, fools. This ingenious fry cooking device has rendered our victim helpless. Yes, take one step closer, <laughs> and it's Fry Damsel in distress. What? Ah, you fool! You have to save the damsel! Do I have to spell everything out for you? Dirty Bubble, come and let us retire to my lair, where we shall imbibe the rich nectar of the steamed Terrazzo Monticello and feast on a delectable selection of profiteroles. Huh? <sighs> Coffee and donuts. Let's go get some coffee and donuts. Why I even bother talking to you, I'll never know. It looks like she's set to be floured, battered, lightly seasoned, and then cooked until she's crispy brown, uh, with the option of salt. Don't worry, little lady. We'll get you out of there. <laughs> Turns out that sneaky hermit sent us here to keep us occupied while he stole our secret lairs. That really is sneaky. I propose a temporary truce to rid us of this sneaky foe. So, lean green marine the biologist, what can you tell us about the sneaky hermit's possible weakness? Uh, well, this superior pejoristes frontalis. A what? Speak English, or I will crush your brain into a lumpy mass with which I could spread across my morning toast. I love toast. Ahem. As I was saying, this superior pejoristes frontalis, or super hermit crab, is very tough indeed. Luckily, he does seem to possess one glaring weakness. Pepper. During his allergic reaction, this sneaky hermit should begin to sneeze most violently. Perfect! To the final showdown! Away! It seems as if the sneaky hermit cannot be stopped. Why, right now he's even stealing this very news station! Your reign of terror... And your reign of sneakiness... ...has come to an end. Well, well. Do you truly believe your little pathetic alliance is enough to stop me? Our combined might will spell your ultimate doom, sneaky one! <laughs> You've run out of places to run and hide, sneaky hermit! Enough! Now my true power shall be unleashed in all its sneaky glory! No, no, no! <laughs> you cannot withstand this awesome surface!
Christmas tension. You'll pay for that. Ha! <laughs> I've seen better moves from a baby seal. Time for the secret weapon. Guess how while he is occupied. No. No. No! How could you know? Lachu! <laughs> My only weakness. Lachu! Psst! Psst, hey, Man Ray! What now? Um, you fought well, do-gooders, but now we must bid you adieu. Come, Dirty Bubble, and let our evil be set free upon the world once again. Yes, let us wash this clean taste from our mouths. <laughs> well, I guess everything is back to normal again. Yep. Mm-hmm. Are you going to pull your pants up, Mermaid Man? All in good time, Barnacle Boy. All in good time. Found you! No! Please! Don't let her take me back there! Please, take me to the cops, to prison, to a sci-fi convention! Just... Please! Not there! <laughs> Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, get back to Shady Shoals now! Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh.